Now let's have a look at analysing positions and games with a computer chess engine. Well, there's two engines that come uh, free with Hark's Chess Explorer, depending on which version you've bought. If you buy the single processor version, you'll just get this one, the Hark's 14, current world computer software champion. If you bought the deep version, then you'll get two engines. You'll get this version and the deep version as well. Uh, the only difference between the two is that the deep version will utilize all the cores or all the processors on your computer. If you have a computer with several uh, or multiple cores, um, but however many you have, the, just the single processor version, this non-deep version will only utilize one. So I've just picked a game at random from our top game database, picked a position, and I'm going to run the analysis engine. I'm going to run the single processor version because obviously I'm using uh, video capture software as well. So I'm going to run that by clicking this button here to start stop the current engine. This will start Hiax analyzing the current position. And there we go, you can see Harx is already giving us some information. Um, obviously with this sort of uh, analysis, the longer you let it go, the deeper, the more sophisticated the analysis will be. But you'll get pretty good analysis even just within the first few seconds. It's going to leave this, uh, it's going to analyze this position for as long as you allow it to. See, already it's giving a score of plus 1.17. A plus score is, means it's in favor of the, uh, for white. Uh, a minus score would be favorable for black. So 1.1, it's also measured in units of one pawn. So it's basically saying, uh, despite whatever material is on the board, effectively white has an advantage of at least the value of one pawn, if not more. Uh, in Hyarx's opinion. So uh, definitely a good position for white here. And in fact, you can see that uh, the game ended with a win for white. So Vladimir Kramnik, he tends to, if he gets that much of an advantage of a uh, plus one, you don't see many games where someone, uh, a player of Vladimir Kramnik's caliber, doesn't win that game. Um, you can see already here it's uh, analyzed to a depth of 19 moves. That's actually half moves. So uh, computers measure moves in uh, by one player's made a move, that's one move, and then the other player makes a move, that's two moves, or we call them apply or half moves. Humans tend to refer to a move as uh, a move by the white player and the black player at the same time. Uh, you can get a bit more detailed information about the analysis, though, if you click here, the Analysis History and Statistics button. So click on that, and you see you get a whole host of information. It's anal what position, it, what move it's currently analysing, what depth it's got to, how many positions it's analysed. So nodes is basically the number of positions it's looked looked at. You can see over 29 million currently and rising, analysed in one minute 47, one minute 48. So that tells you how many um, an positions it's analysing per second. So 285,000 positions per second. That just goes to show you why some of these engines are quite as strong as they are. Um, also, if we go back to the um, the simple view, you can increase the number of uh, lines that it shows you. At the moment, it's giving you its top variation, its top line, so its top move in this position. If you want to give it multi, if you want it to show multiple lines, just click this button here, or you can enter a, a different number. So you can have two, three, or four, up to the total number of available um, moves in this position. I tend to have maybe two or three open at any one time. You don't really want more than about four because it will slow the actual analysis down the more lines you have open. But it's quite a nice little thing to see uh, maybe the top two moves that Hyax thinks that there are in this position. Quite a nice little feature as well. Um, okay, so that's the sort of uh, the analysis version if you want to do on the fly analysis. If you want to analyze a whole game, it's a little bit different. You can switch that analysis off and then click this one to analyze current game. That brings up the Analyze Game dialog. Here you can set the different uh, parameters for the analysis. So the average time per move, here it's set to 5 seconds, but you can change that to as many as you like. You could even enter um, you know, 300 or whatever you like, however long you want to give it. Um, a lot of people ask me how long they should give this. Well, it's really um, uh, how long is a piece of string. It depends how much time you've got and how deep you want the analysis to be. Uh, 5 or 10 seconds per move will give you uh, superficial analysis, but it won't take very long to complete. Whereas if you, say, leave your computer on overnight analysing, you could give it to 300 or even more seconds, you'll get deeper analysis. Um, just as a little side note, something you don't have to worry too much about, but there does come a point when um, giving it extra time, there's going to be a law of diminishing returns. So uh, the longer you give it, obviously, the deeper it'll go. Um, but as it's got to a certain point, then there's going to be so many possible moves 
that really just giving it an extra hour is not going to make a lot of difference. So it's up to you. Don't worry about it too much. If you're doing, as I say, quick analysis, leave it at 5 or 10 seconds. But if you've got overnight, then give it, say, 300 to 500, something like that. But there really is no correct answer for how long you want to give it. It's completely up to you. Um, the analysis format, do you want the score on only or the score on the engine name? You can remove any previous analysis if there is any, or um, if you want to analyze for just the white player, the black, uh, the black pieces, the white pieces, or the both players. It's a good idea to analyze for both, just so you can see if the other person missed any chances. Now, I'll start this analysis going, but uh, we won't have time to do the whole thing. But you'll get just a little bit of an idea. Obviously, it starts analyzing from the last position, works towards the opening. So uh, Hyarx is going to uh, load. You can see it's analysing the game here, down at the bottom left, and the bar is filling in. Even uh, at five seconds per move, it's going to take a little bit of time to get through this whole game. So if you were just going away for you know sort of ten minutes, then you'd probably get a fully analysed game. As it is, we're not going to have time to look at the the whole process. Uh, so I'm going to stop the analysis. And you can see that Hyarx has done a little bit. It's already entered some of the information, so you get some of the analysis, the scores and everything that it's given you uh, already. It's gone that straight into the game notation. And if you let Hyarx finish the whole game, uh, then you'll get a nicely annotated game with Hyarx's opinion on every single move. So some really powerful features here, um, analysing your games, uh, something you definitely want to do to improve as a player, analysing your games with uh, chess engines.